So today I had a completely different video in mind, but the most asked question I get when it comes to chickens is how do I do my litter method? How do I keep the coop clean? How do I keep the run clean? And that's what I'm going to show you today because it is time to clean it out and it is time to put in new bedding and I will do a step-by-step -step as to what I do, how I do it. And so that way you can know how you can grow compost and how you can raise your chicken in a rel chickens relatively in a stink-free way um, and healthy way. Um, and it's also the way that the old timers did it. And that's where I got the inspiration from. Life is a winding road. Driving through days and nights Won't stop for traffic lights And I I really wanna know, really wanna know If I Will ever figure out where the road goes Alright so the idea of talking to a little dot on my phone is very weird to me. Right here. Yeah, look. Yeah, look into that because that's where it looks like you're looking at people's faces. Sorry if I look at my face. <laughs> All right. So the idea of free ranging your ch your children. <laughs> can be to some people. <laughs> true, true, true. So the idea of free ranging your chickens is a very romantic idea. Um, if you free range your chickens and you want to garden, um, they're going to take up and they're going to eat your garden. If you free range your chickens in your backyard in a suburban area or urban area, if you have a small backyard at all, the conditions um, will be very unsanitary because they like to sleep by your back door. You go by your back door, you're going to step and poop. It's just the way that it is. And so to fix that, I did a lot of research trying to figure out how I can utilize chickens in my backyard, how I can garden, and how I can keep my uh, back patio full or free of uh, chicken poo um, because it's not lovely to step in. It's not lovely to smell. It attracts flies and it's, it's very unsanitary. <clears throat> so the method I use is called a deep litter method. Uh, I use the deep litter um, to throw into my compost, which is what I call the chicken run. The chicken run is my compost bin. It's where I throw all of our food scraps. Um, it's where I throw the deep litter uh, from their coop, which is what we'll discuss here in just a little bit. It's where I throw the rabbit um, bedding, and it's where I throw the goat bedding as well. Um, you can see right now, it's pretty lacking in anything because it has recently rained and everything that's in there has smushed into the ground. And currently, it's rather smelly. And that's how I know I have a problem. I've got to fix this. So I need to add something to it and the material I need to add is the bedding from inside the chicken coop. It is springtime, it is time for me to clean the coop. This is the time of year that I do a deep cleaning. Um, and in order to discuss and talk about my deep litter method with my chickens, I have to go in and start with a clean coop. So we're going to start backwards. Start it whenever you get chickens. It's, it's a good way to go. It's easier on you. It's less work that you have to do. Um, you make the chickens work for you and you have now got a chicken coop that doesn't smell. And you have a chicken run that is your compost bin. Um, it keeps your chickens protected from predators. It keeps your gardens protected from the chickens and it keeps your back patio protected as well. Even if I'm falling down, I will keep on searching for my highs. 
You can say I lost my mind I will keep on holding my head high Even if the sky is falling down Yeah, sure, you need to be in the shot. This is my other kid who does not like to be, or one of my children, who does not like to be in front of the camera, period. Uh, but I get sneaky shots and it's probably super windy, so give me a second. Wind, wind, go away. Or before we get into this uh, deep litter method that I use inside my coop and I'm using my run as my compost area, I've got to start with a clean slate. So I am going to very quickly clean out my chicken coop. any further you gotta see the dirt this is why I do this you see that it's all breaking down it's the chicken manure and the bedding and them scratching at it at night because they do sometimes and this is what you get it's pretty awesome and this is why but it's still very very hot so this is why I use this and put it in my chicken run so that way it can further break down. <clears throat> this is what the chickens do. In no time, it'll look like that. All right, so I just cleaned out the base of the coop. And normally I don't clean out the nesting boxes, but it's springtime and I'm cleaning the whole thing out. So right here, there's enough bedding to leave here and normally this is what I would do. I would clean out the nesting boxes and then this would be the fresh bedding that I would leave in here. Um, but I, currently I have some new chickens or younger chickens that instead of roosting on the roosting bar, there's also another one just in case anybody's wondering that's currently not in here. Um, they sleep in the nesting boxes and when a chicken sleeps, they poop. So this is actually dirty bedding. And like I said before, because it's springtime, I'm gonna clean out all of it and put fresh bedding in. Um, this will not be perfectly clean, just in case people are wondering. Um, and it is okay. Um, you can perfectly clean it out. You can scrub the walls, you can paint the walls down, you can do what you want to do. That's fine, I don't, I don't do that and I have yet to have a problem with that. my 
mama bunny? She's like, no. Leave me alone. Alright, it's cleaned out. As clean as I'm gonna get. This roosting bar, I added to it so I could keep more chickens in here. Um, the nesting boxes are cleanish. Nothing's gonna be perfect, so don't ever aim for perfection. You're gonna, it's just gonna be that way. I did sprinkle down some diatomaceous earth. Uh, some people don't like it, but I do. I've never had a problem with it. It kills bugs. It helps to deter if there is any bugs. In that very last nesting box over there, there were some ants. Ants don't typically hurt my chickens, and it usually provides a nice snack for the chickens. But in the, I just don't want them in, because that's the most popular nesting box. I don't want them in that nesting box. So ants typically I don't mess with and I don't mind. But in this situation, I did put down some DE to help to, to well, it'll kill them off is what it will do. So the ideal here, is to have pine shavings, but my kids use all the pine shavings, so I have straw. I prefer pine shavings. It's just a personal preference. There's no major rhyme or reason. I love the smell of pine shavings, but straw is what I have. I'm not going to the store to do anything different. Um, I'm just going to put a light layer in, and then I'll put a nice little layer in with the nesting boxes. I don't do this perfectly at all. There's chunks of it. The chickens like to come in and scratch. If you can do anything to initiate the scratching instinct in a chicken, they're going to be happy. That's what they're meant to do, which is why they don't always make the best free-ranging birds if you can't fence off your garden. and dig up your seeds that you just planted but that's okay too if you want to replant them but the good thing about them scratching in your garden is that they will also eat the bugs you don't want in your garden and when it comes time I'll talk more about that about how I really utilize these chickens when it comes to gardening boxes. There's six of them and they'll only use one and they'll fight over it too. But it's all clean. There's just a thin layer of straw down here and I will throughout the summer only keep it nice and thin. Uh, I won't let it get, I'll probably let it get to about right below this and then I'll clean it out again and throw it in the run. What this does is it generates heat and you don't want that in the summertime. So I still utilize the same methods. I just clean it out just a little bit more in the summertime. In the winter, I do not clean it out at all. I just keep adding bedding to it every two to three times, maybe two to three times a week. I know, Eileen. Maybe I can have a chicken with me. Oh, Eileen loves me. Yes, she does. Actually, she hates me because I don't hold her ever. <laughs> I know, I know. Okay, okay, okay. How often you clean this out is going to depend on how many chickens you have. I have roughly about 20 chickens. There may be a few I don't count as chickens because they're bantams and they don't really do anything for me. Every week, about two to three times, I will go in and I will add... Um, some straw or pine shavings. That's my preference is pine shavings. Straw is my second preference. Those are the only things that I will use in here. Um, and it will, uh, because both of those will break down. Straw takes a little bit longer. 
Uh, I prefer the smell of pine shavings. I prefer the look of pine shavings. That's why. Um, I've never had a problem with bugs uh, like mites, which you can get in a chicken coop. I've never had that problem. Um, that would be the one that I'm concerned about. What do you think, Eileen? What do you think? <laughs> Eileen's our one-legged chicken, right? One leg. She got attacked by a skunk. And our farmer friend and us thought if she survived, she deserved a chance to live. So she's kind of our pet chicken. And she gets around just fine. And our flock doesn't really beat her up. So that's good. Because that would be a problem. That's the way this old timers used to do it. Yes, you are great at it. I guess I need to practice in the mirror too. Take it. <laughs> it's perfect, right? Dude. Let's see if it, can I flip this? There's a couple I don't count as chickens because they're bantams and so they're really small. But they're depending on how many chickens you have in here is how often you will add. I need to look at the camera. My compost bin. It's where I compost everything. <sighs> right. I'm so glad I can edit this thing.